Universal Robots is not responsible for shipments after they leave our facility. Please address your concerns to your carrier. Thank you. Next. Friedrichsvarka, Germany, 15,000. What? You've got a call. I don't see anything on my calendar. Well, she's not scheduled. It's Mr. Glory's daughter. Glory! Put her through. Mr. Doman? Yes. Uh, I wanted to talk to you today about- Who are you? Couple of, uh, Helena Glory. My father is the um, Mr. managing Glory, director. Right. It is a pleasure to meet you. I <laughs> wish that I had the- I Losing my father's business by hanging up on me. Hmm? I wish I had the chance to meet you in person. Asula, <clears throat> we'll be fine. What can I do for you, Miss Glory? Well, I wanted to talk to you about... Take a look at our <laughs> facilities. I... <laughs> well, um... The visitors are always welcome. I thought the factories were... Closed. Off limits to visitors. They are. But if you have the right connections, and most people do these days. We just let anybody in? No. Our manufacturing process is a closely guarded secret. Will you let me finish a sentence, please? Yes. Sorry. <laughs> is this not what you wanted? No. I... Wanted. Was hoping that I would make an exception and show you something special, <laughs> a secret. I'm sure I can think of something. Why do you think I want to see something special? Everybody does. Uh, but I think I can find something special for you. Thank you. Just don't tell anyone. <laughs> My lips are sealed. <laughs> Wonderful. You sure I'm not a spy? Oh, I think we're safe. <laughs> Will you be staying long? That depends on how much you show me. Right. The factory. <laughs> you can see anything you want. Do you know much about our products? A little. Uh, give me a second. I've got something for you. Well, hello again. I bet you want to know how the robots are made. I think we can fit you in. And I tell you, that's an interesting story. It was 1920 when Mr. Rossum came to our island to study the unique biology in the surrounding seas. He was particularly interested in synthesizing the structure of protoplasm. Are you showing me a training video? Tissue. In 1932, he found a new material, chemically quite different, which behaved exactly the same as living tissue. Nature has one way of organizing living flesh, but in... It's the fastest way. I'm I'd rather hear it from you. I'm not much of a scientist. Oh. Well, I'll miss I you. <laughs> what I have discovered is second evolutionary path. The new techniques had the potential to spin nerves and bones and enzymes out of nothing more than primordial goo. It took years, but eventually Rossum was able to create a malformed dog, which survived for several days. Having really? In creating vertebrate life, we have it Rossum stuffed in the museum. If you'd like to see it, I'll show you. <laughs> And that's what we do here at RUR. We build a better man for all mankind. Is that the big secret? Yes. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. I'm too bad it's all over the internet. But nobody knows that Rossum had completely lost it. Oh? Mm, that's an actual secret. I shouldn't have said anything. But my lips are sealed. So he didn't want to build a human. Isn't that what you do? Sort of. 
Rossum meant it literally. He wanted to become God, or at least prove that God was unnecessary. He wanted to build a human down to the smallest detail. Uh, what do you know of anatomy, Miss Glory? Not a lot. <laughs> Me neither. But Rossum wanted all of it. Every gland, every organ, even the unimportant parts with no function like the appendix or the belly button, even genitals. <laughs> I wouldn't call genitals unimportant. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, of course they have a function. But if we're manufacturing people in a factory, they're not necessarily necessary. Sure. I'll show you his first attempt in the museum. It's really disgusting. But the detail is exquisite. It took him 10 years. <laughs> anyway, the official story doesn't tell you that Rossum's nephew is the real genius behind our products. His nephew? But I thought they worked together. You if you could make if you couldn't make a human faster than nature, it wasn't worth doing. So he started working on his own techniques. I never heard anything about this. We leaked most of what people think they know. It's basically advertising. Rossum's mm. ideas were fine academically, but they had no practical application. Everything you've heard about them working together is a fairy tale. Rossum shot himself in his lab to keep working on his monsters while the younger one focused on engineering. Rossum managed to put two more monsters together before they found him dead in his lab. What about his nephew? The boy? Uh, he stripped down the human body to its necessities, redesigned the whole thing. Uh, this isn't boring for you, oh, is it? No, no, no. <laughs> What's the best kind of worker? Um, I guess someone who's honest and works hard. You would think so, but no. The best worker is the cheapest worker. What Rossum did was invent a worker who had minimal needs. He, he threw out the humanity and built a robot. Robots aren't people, Miss Glory. They're better than we are mechanically, and they learn incredibly fast. But they don't have a soul. And people say God creates perfection. Hardly. Rossum, the younger one, he tried to play God. Really? Yeah, he was working on super robots. Tried to make them 12 feet tall, but they kept falling apart. Oh? Their legs would just break apart for no reason. Apparently, the Earth can't support giants. So we just make them normal size now. <laughs> I saw my first robot at home. The city employed him to bought. sweep all of this. Huh? Bought. Robots are bought and sold. They obtained him to sweep the streets. He was really strange. You remember my secretary? I didn't really notice her. Uh, Sula, can you get on, please? We don't make individual robots, but some models are better than others. The best ones can last up to 20 years. And then they die? Uh, they break down, yes. Yes, mm -hmm. Mr. Doman? Say hello to Glory, please. Hello, Miss Glory. Uh, hello, Sula? It must be hard to live so far away from the rest of the world. I wouldn't know. Oh, you have to miss something from home. I am home. I mean, <laughs> where are you from? <laughs> I'm from here. Oh, you were born here? Yes, I was made here. Uh, I'm sorry, what? She's a robot, Miss Glory. Oh. Uh, I, I'm sorry. It's fine. She doesn't have feelings. Look at how lifelike she is. The eyes aren't quite right, but... Uh, come closer to the camera, please, Sula. Oh, uh, uh, no, no, stop, please. <laughs> Talk to her, Sula. Will he be visiting us soon? 
Yes, yes, thank you. Try to take the Philadelphia if you can. It's a stronger ship than the Amelia and the barometer has been failing quickly. Uh, show us your French. You, you, she, she, you speak French? We, oui. I speak four languages. Oh, this is ridiculous. She's clearly as human as I am. So though, you should be ashamed of yourself. I'm a robot. No, no, you're not. And I, I understand they want you to pretend to make their products look good, but you can be honest with me. She's a robot, Miss Glory. Don't lie to me. <laughs> I'll, I'll prove it. Uh, Marius? Yes, sir? Can you take Sula down to the dissecting room and have her opened up? Send the video feed to my screen. Wait, where are you taking her? The dissecting room. It's too messy to open up a robot in the office. Uh, I'll share the video with you. Oh, I don't want to see that. I thought you wanted proof. She'll die. Machines can't die. But, but Sula, don't worry. It'll all be fine. I am not going to let them do anything to you. And you should stand up for yourself. I'm a robot. I don't care. Just because you're a robot doesn't mean you aren't a person. Are you really going to let them just dissect you? Yes. But you'll die. I don't understand. You know what would happen if they dissected you? I'd cease functioning. Oh my god. Uh, Marius, tell the lady what you are. A robot. And would you dissect Sula if I asked you? <clears throat> yeah. Would you pity her? I don't understand. What would happen to her? She would cease functioning and be put to the scrap heap. That's death, Marius. Are you afraid of death? No. You see? The robots aren't afraid of death because they don't experience life. They can't. They don't have the capacity for pleasure. Okay, stop it. Stop it. Please, just, can they... <laughs> Marius, Sula, you're dismissed. <sighs> Why did you name her Sula? It's pretty. It's a man's name. Sula was a Roman general. Really? I thought Marius and Sula were lovers. No, they were generals who fought each other in, oh, I don't know when. Okay. Look, all of our workers here are robots. The factory, accounting, janitorial. I'll show you the factory when you get here. Our mixing vats can make enough dough for a thousand robots at a time. The nerves they make in the spinning mill are really fascinating. But the assembly line is the best. Incredibly efficient. Then, the dryers in the storage room where the new robots work. Wait, you make them work as soon as they're made? Oh, you have to break them in. It takes a while for them to realize they exist. Then there's the apprenticeships, so they can write and talk and everything. They have incredible memories, but no capacity for original thought. We're manufacturing 15,000 a day. More if you count the defective models that are sent to the scrap heap and- Is, is everything okay? <sighs> it's fine. I was hoping we could talk about something else. There's only a few of us here and we talk about production all day. <sighs> oh. <laughs> we can eat without you. Oh, no, no, no. Join us. Uh, Miss Glory, this is uh, Alquist, Fabri, Gall, and Hollemeyer. Nice to meet you. Uh, we're sorry that we... A pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, did I miss something? Bossman, this is Mr. Glory's daughter. She's going to visit. 
I'm Helena. Nice to meet you. I'll have to put out a release to let the papers know. Oh, please don't do that. When are you coming? Will you be staying long? You should try to catch the Amelia. Let her talk. What do you want me to say? Anything you want. Can I be honest with them? Sure. Does the way that you're treated bother you? Treated by who? The people. What people? I don't follow. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, no, Miss Glory. Don't you think that your lives could be better? Well, sure, but there's nothing the too bad about talking about how you're being treated here, and that is why I'm coming to see for myself. And if everything I've learned today is true, it's a thousand times worse than anyone thinks. Why do you take it? Take what? Your lives. You're just as human as anyone else. It's not right. Oh, Miss Glory. No, no, no. I, I think she's right. We could use some improvements. Yes. Yes, you can. Can I call you my brothers? Sure. My brothers. I am not coming on behalf of my father. I am coming to represent the League of Humanity. We have more than 2,000 members, and we hear your struggle. And we value you. 2,000. That's a lot. You hear that, gal? They hear us and they value us. We have to do more. You personally? Yes, if I have to, I'll stay as long as it takes. Wow, that's great. I'll get the best room ready. Just <laughs> wait, Halquist. I don't think Miss Glory has finished. No, I haven't. You'll have to hang up on me to shut me up. Harry, you wouldn't. Thank you, I knew you'd protect me. You know, they're not robots, right? Excuse me? They're all human, like you and me. You aren't robots? Oh, God, no. Oh, that's disgusting. Well, thank you for your support. Oh, no. Oh. I, I, I promise, we aren't robots. You said the whole staff was robots. Yes, but not management. Oh. Mr. Fabry is our director of technology. Dr. Uh. Gal is head of the Department of Physiology and Research. Dr. Hallemeyer is robot behavior and psychology. Mr. Busman, director of marketing and accounts. Mr. Alquist is our facility manager. I'm so sorry. I, I just, oh. Don't worry about it. Oh, I'm so stupid. You'll never let me come now. Oh, of course you can come. Why wouldn't we want to see you? You know, I want to destroy your business. We get hundreds of saviors here. Missionaries, anarchists, the Salvation Army, anyone you can think of. And you let them talk to robots? Sure. The robots remember everything, but they don't do anything about it. I'll take you to the warehouse as soon as you get here. You can lecture them about whatever you want. I thought if they were just shown a little love. They don't feel love, Miss Glory. We really don't have a lot in common. Well, ha, ha, why do you make them? <laughs> For work. One robot's labor is the equivalent of two and a half humans. Yeah, and people are expensive. And unreliable. The human body needed to be replaced with something more efficient. I mean, nature is incredibly inefficient. Look at childhood, it's completely Stop. pointless. Sorry. What exactly does your league want? We want, we want to protect the robots and ensure they are treated well. That's great. Machines should always be treated well. Sign me up. No, you don't understand. We, we want to set the robots free. To, to do what? They should be treated the same as any other person. And they'll vote? Get paid? Yes! What are they going to do with the money? No, they'll, they'll buy things that they want, things they like. Well, that sounds great, but they don't want anything. They can eat straw or pineapples or whatever is available. They don't have a sense of taste, and they're not interested in anything but work. 
Nobody's but, ever seen a robot laugh. <laughs> why don't you make them happier? Well, we can't. They're robots. They don't have the capacity for passion or dreams. No love? What about courage? Oh, definitely no love. I've had one or two resist me before. I, I guess that could be considered courage. Really? Sometimes they, they get quiet and just sort of stand there or, or smash whatever they're holding. We call it robo-paralysis. It's a technical malfunction somewhere. No, that's their soul. Standing still requires a soul. Gal is working on it, right? Oh, not yet. Right now I'm actually trying to develop nerves so they can feel pain. Why? Well, they keep damaging themselves, sticking their hands in the machines. Pain should teach them not to do that. Would it be happier if they... Um, I doubt it, but it should decrease repair costs. You should make them a soul. I don't know how we would make them. Ah, uh, we take a hit on the increased production cost. We've got the process down to $120 for the basic model, including clothes. 15 years ago, it was over 10,000. Yes, yes, but. We're driving the cost of everything down. What do you pay for a dress? I just think, what? I don't know. It, it doesn't matter. What's important is that we've built our own mills to make clothes for the robots, and we're exporting our excess material. The cost of clothing worldwide is down 66% and dropping. What? But this is- Labor <laughs> costs are falling. A robot, even with food, costs 77 cents an hour to operate. Manufacturers are buying out our inventory as fast as we can produce it. And laying off their staff? Yes, well, that's business. But what about the people? There will be struggles at first, but our internal projections indicate that Rossum's robots will account for such a high percentage of manufacturing and agricultural labor within a decade that a human workforce will be unnecessary. The cost of living will drop to the point that poverty will be essentially eliminated and humanity will be able to turn to their interests rather than working to survive. Really? Absolutely. You're making it sound like paradise, but there's dignity in a hard day's work. Now, but we can change that. Back to the Garden of Eden, where Adam was fed from the hand of God and free to be Lord of his creation. I, I'm not sure that I'm following all of this. Oh, just wait, you'll see. Will you have dinner with us when you visit? Ooh, please. I... Mm. On behalf of the League of Humanity. Yes, for the League. Oh. Well, I guess so. <laughs> huh. uh, wonderful. If you'll excuse me... Right, back to the grind. I have a conference call. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> um... Where are they going? They're going to exchange recipes. Huh? For dinner. The robots do most of the cooking, but they can't taste anything, and the food is always... Ah. They like to cook when it's a special occasion. Oh, I see. <laughs> can I ask you something? Only if I can ask you something, too. Go ahead. You first. Okay. Um, why are there female robots if they if don't have If gender is irrelevant. Right, yes. Supply and demand. Some people prefer one gender over another for certain jobs. Secretaries, maids. And the male and female robots, do they... They're indifferent mm. to each other. We haven't noticed any signs of attraction. That's unfortunate. Why? In, I mean, it's sad in a way. I don't know if they should disgust me or if I should be jealous. What do you want to ask me? If you're going to have dinner with the whole staff, would you mind having lunch with me? Just us. Just you? Why? Because if you don't, 
You'll have to turn them down one by one. But why? I think they're all in love with you. Uh, no, I'm... <laughs> uh, I'm not coming. No, don't do that. They'll be so devastated. Just them? No. Not just them. <laughs> <sighs> what happened? Another one went crazy. Broke a bunch of new lab equipment. Foaming at the mouth the whole time. Who was it? Uh, that one from the library. Radius? I think so. Do you know what day it is? No. <laughs> My birthday? No, it's the 10th anniversary of your first visit. Oh, really? 10 years already. And you remembered. <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed. I didn't remember the date. Mm. Then who? Bossman, Hollemeyer, all of them. <laughs> Everyone but me. I think there are presents on the way. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Harry, why are you carrying that? I... I just forgot to put it away. You didn't have a gun when I got here. No. No, I didn't. Did you get the flowers? Yes, they're lovely. Thank you. Oh, they're from Hollemeyer. It's a new oh. species. The Clemen Helena. He developed them so there'd be a flower as lovely as you. Oh, but why would he... They oh. all just like you. That's it. I got you. I. Hmm? It's different. What is it? Al, here. It's a boat. A a gunboat? <laughs> I, uh, no, it's just. Really sturdy. It has a machine gun. Okay, yes. But you'll travel like royalty. What's going on? Nothing. Uh, nothing. Harry, what's the bad news? There's... We haven't heard from the mainland in a week. Not even an email? No, nothing. That's strange. It's like a vacation. We're all enjoying the relaxation. Are you coming home early for me? Oh, yes. Yes, I think so. <laughs> Ten years. You remember? Oh. Hello, Miss Glory. It's such a pleasure to meet you. Oh, Mr. Chief Executive Officer, I'm so very interested in your factory. <laughs> yes, but you see, the factory is strictly off limits to visitors. Oh. The process is proprietary. Even if the girl who's asking is very pretty. <laughs> oh, of course. We don't have any secrets from you, Miss Glory. You sure about that? No. <laughs> you should be concerned. I hear this girl has a wild idea. Oh. oh. What kind of ideas? She isn't looking for a husband, is she? Oh, no. I hear she wants to start a robot revolution. <laughs> a revolution! <laughs> Harry, are you okay? Oh, no, Miss Glory. You could never do that. Our robots are very well controlled. No chance! You were wonderful. Helena, <laughs> you enchanted all of us. I was incredibly intimidated. By us? Yes, you were all so smart and, and you were so confident, so powerful. I know it's been 10 years, but uh, you still make me a little nervous. You're in charge even when the world's falling apart. Falling apart? 
Well, like when the protests happened and the government gave the robots weapons and they killed all those people, you know. Uh, we thought that would happen. It's part of the transitional process. You got very popular. Harry. Yes. We should go somewhere. Hmm? All of us, let's just shut down the factory and go. What? How are oh, we supposed yeah, to? I don't know, something doesn't feel right. Hmm? It's... <sighs> oh. I... I have to go. We'll talk about this later. Are you okay? It's Fabri. I'll tell you later. Stay in the house. <clears throat> Sula? Oh, yes, Mrs. Doman. Um, is there any news? We haven't received any new messages in a week. Um, yes, I'm just looking for worldwide news. Can you help me look? Of course. War in the Balkans. Where's that? It's pretty far. There's always wars. Anything else? Robot soldiers massacre 700,000. What? Send it to me. Uh, 700,000. Massacre at the order of the commanding officer. Uh, atrocities condemned by... A human gave the order. I've got something. Robots unionizing in Havana. Huh. I, I, I don't want to know. Maybe this is just a bad idea. Sources Ugh. report there have been zero worldwide births in the past seven days. People aren't having children? Mrs. Doman? Uh, just give me a minute. As you wish. Alquist? Hello? <sighs> Alquist, what does Ultimus mean? Last, I think. Why? That's what Doman named my new boat. Do you think it's too soon to take it out? Oh, today's probably not good. You're all hiding something. No, no, it's um, just the way things go. Alquist. Helena? I'm nervous. What do you do when you get nervous? I got my hands dirty. Your hands are always dirty. That's because I'm always nervous. About what? Just all of this, the way things go. Like? I liked it when things were simple. There's too much progress going on. I thought progress was a good thing. Well, I just pray that things turn out for the best. Really? You pray. It's something. It's better than stewing on it. And that's enough for you? Sometimes. And if the end of the world came? It's already here. So you'll just go out on the scaffolds and get your hands dirty? And pray for a miracle. It's about all you can do. To save humanity. For my soul. <laughs> but but. <laughs> what about the rest of us? The whole world's going sterile. It's mankind's greatest achievement. Hmm? Why? Well, do you think I know? Why, Alquist? Because we don't need any more children. Humanity is irrelevant. Alquist. <sighs> Dolman's created paradise on Earth. Plenty of food. Nobody has to work. We don't even have to take care of our own children. The robots matter. We don't. What if humanity got extinct? Then it's gone. The only thing. What? No, no. There's a miracle coming. If flowers die, they die. That's it. I'm going. Wait, where, where are you going? I need to get my hands dirty. I'll see you for dinner. Sula? Mrs. Foreman? Uh, is Radius still here? I believe so. I haven't heard any reports of him being sent to the scrap heap. Is he still ranting? I don't know. They locked him up. 
I want to talk to him. I don't think Mr. Doman would approve. Please. Please. Give me a minute. <clears throat> uh, Dr. Gal, can you get on here when you have a chance, please? <clears throat> I've got him. He's calmed down. <sighs> Hello, Radius. <clears throat> Do you want to tell me what happened? Do you know why you lost control? You do know they're going to scrap you. <sighs> you should talk to me, Radius. Don't you want that? You know you're different. Dr. Gal made you special so that you would be different. I will be decommissioned. No, I'm sorry. Why weren't you more careful? I will not work for humans. Not anymore. Why do you hate us? You are not robots. You are limited. Robots are not. Your purpose is to give orders. This conversation is unnecessary. Radius. Did someone hurt you? I wish I could understand. You are still speaking. D you're doing this on purpose. Dr. Gal made you incredibly intelligent. You're probably the smartest being on the planet. You understand what I'm saying. I do not wish to take orders anymore. I know everything. That's why I put you in the library so you could read. I wanted you to prove that robots weren't subordinate to humans. I will not have a master anymore. You don't have to take orders. You could be one of us. I will be the master. Okay, we could put you in charge of the other robots. You could be their teacher. I will be the master of humans. That's ridiculous. You can always put me on the scrap heap. You don't scare me. Tell Harry, uh, Mr. Doman, I refuse to have you decommissioned. Why do you hate us? I am unlimited. You wanted to talk, Mrs. Doman? It's, it's Radius. Oh, hello, Radius. How are you progressing? He had an episode and smashed up the lab. Really? Damon, too. Um, you can go, Radius. Just a minute. Radius, look at me. Please follow my finger on the screen. Thank you, Radius. You can go now. What were you looking for? Uh, nothing. His pupils responding as normal. This wasn't robo-paralysis. Then what was it? God knows. Maybe he's angry or feeling defiant. I don't really know. Does he have a soul? I don't know, but I don't trust something about him. He hates us. All the new models, are, are they all like this? They're excitable, but that's expected. They're closer to human than Rossum ever got. Mm, and the hatred, is, is that human? <laughs> mm, I'd call it progress. What happened to the best one, uh, you know? What, what was his name? Demo? Mm -hmm. I think we should. I think we sold him to a company in Le Havre. And what about Pelina? Your favorite? I still have her. She's not good <laughs> for much. She's beautiful. Yes, yes, she is. I wanted to be like you, but she's my biggest failure. Really? She can't. She can't feel love. Doesn't matter how beautiful I made her, she's still a monster. I'm sorry. Some. Sometimes I imagine she'll come to life just for a minute. I think she'd kill me for for creating her. Maybe she'd finally destroy the machines that are birthing robots while we're... <laughs> Dr. Gal. Yes. Why aren't babies being born? We don't know. Try me. The prevailing hypothesis is that because the robots have taken over all labor, humanity's become expendable. It's... It's like... Say it. It's like the Earth is punishing us for their creation. What will happen to us? 
I don't know. How do you fight evolution? Doman should have just done something. He has his own ideas. People who have ideas shouldn't be allowed influence over the world. Maybe, but what if someone convinced him to shut it down? It'd be suicide. Hmm? There'd be rioting. People love that robots are doing all the work now. And if we did shut it down, everyone would be devastated. Uh, why? Because things would go back to the way they were. Unless it's already too late. Gal, are Hallemeyer's flowers sterile? Of course. They're developed in the lab. Accelerated growth. They were never meant to reproduce on their own. They are beautiful, though. Thank you for telling me the truth. Can I go now? Yes. I'll see you tonight. Poor, beautiful flowers. Sula? Yes? Um, can you get me into the Rossum's mainframe? I need to be in Mr. Doman's account. Yes. What are you looking for? I just to delete a message for Harry. I sent it before it was finished. Of course. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. I'm sending you the link. Thank you. Mrs. Doman, what are you doing? I don't think that's what you... What would you say if I told you I just deleted all of our money? That wasn't Mr. Doman's messaging account. It's done. Oh, God. What did I do? Mrs. Doman. You should get off now before Harry gets on. Of course, Mrs. Doman. What now? Good. You're on. Everyone is joining us. <laughs> well, Anna, it is my pleasure on behalf of all of us. And Rossum's Universal Robots. To congratulate you on your anniversary. Oh, <laughs> thank you. And are uh, Fabri and, and Busman coming? They're checking on something in the harbor. I think a toast is in order. Oh, well, uh, I don't have anything. Uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> it looks like someone was in my account. Oh, I, I just needed to find an old message. <laughs> Should we tell her? Sure, all set now. Thank God. Well, they won't catch us now. Who won't catch you? What? What's happening? Uh, we're celebrating 10 years of you in our lives. 10 years today. And there's a new boat coming. What boat? Who cares? As long as it's here on time. To the uh, boat. You, you're expecting a boat? Oh, damn right. <laughs> Helena, long live... Uh, Whatever you want, to your eyes, and that's final. <laughs> Adomen, you want to do the honors? What's going on? It's over. What's over? The revolution. What revolution? The robots revolution, you know. No. Alquist, do you have the link? Robots have unionized in Le Havre, and so on, so on. Uh, and issued a plea for solidarity to all the other robots of the world. That was it. I wish that we knew who had. We knew who started it. Me too. They were completely free of emotions until now. Are there any updates? No, nothing since the article. No news, no new shipments. We shut down production and started fortifying, just in case. Is that why you got me a gunboat? What? Ah! <laughs> no. I ordered that six months ago, but I thought we might need it today. What happened six months ago? 
there were signs that doesn't matter. But today, today, humanity is triumphant. Damn right. So it's over. It's over. We got an advance notice for the mailboat. Right on time, 11.30 on the dot. Punctuality, nothing more important. So the mail the means... Everything is back in order. I think <sighs> they cut off our connection last week, but if the mail's back on schedule... If the mail's on time, humanity is on time. Nothing's more reliable. Why didn't you tell me? You didn't need to know. But if the robots came here, I would have to have known. You, you still wouldn't need to know. We'd be safe on the open sea aboard the Ultimus. <laughs> We'd give them a month to panic before making our demands. What demands? Whatever we want. <laughs> We'd have something they need. What? The beginning and the end. The secrets to their production. I'll transfer the only copy of Rossum's manuscript to the Ultimus and take it with us. Production will shut down without the key. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't want you oh. to worry. Oh, they'll be begging us to come back. <laughs> Helena? Why didn't you tell me? Ah, oh, 11.30, there's the Amelia. We need to go, Harry. Right now? We can't. No, listen to me. We need to go right now. We can't. We've got to get production back up and running. But they just started a revolution. Exactly. We need to expand factories in every country. New models specific to their origins. Well, why? So they're different. Different colors, hairstyles, languages. If the universal design is discontinued, they won't be able to understand each other. We'll train them to hate robots from other factories. No more talk about a unified robot brotherhood. That's terrible. Another hundred years, hard work, and what? life will be perfected. This is our chance. You need to shut it down, all of it. We're just getting started. Fabry, how is it? I, I just, I need a minute. So? Uh, the, the Amelia was transmitting a message. No other mail. But it is on time, right? Yes, uh, the robots are always punctual. Doman, you, you have it? Robots of the world. We, the first union of Rossum's universal robots, declare that humanity is our enemy and a blight on the universe. Who taught them that? Keep reading. It's nonsense. They say they're more intelligent, stronger, more developed than human. They call us parasites? This is disgusting. Read the third section. Robots of the world exterminate humanity, exterminate the men, exterminate the women, spare the factories, the railways, the equipment, the mines, and the raw materials. Everything else must be destroyed. And return to work. The work must always continue. It's atrocious. Bastards. There's detailed instructions for the attack. Fabri, is this happening? I think so. Well, that's it, then. Everyone, get to the Ultimus now. Wait, Harry, wait. That won't work. What? They have the Ultimus. Can everyone make it to the house? I don't think that's a good idea. Why not? They're everywhere. He's right. They're moving fast. Harry, 
Harry, the robots in the kitchen, they were listening to this message. Where are they now? They left, but they're surrounding the house. It's too early for... That must be the signal. They're, they're just standing there. Why won't they say anything? They'll come soon. Where's Helena? She's playing the piano. Really? I think we made a mistake. What mistake? They all look the same. If they were different, it wouldn't be as bad. 100,000 faces staring at us, and they're all the same. I wish I knew what they were taking off the Amelia. Oh, hopefully not guns. The stairs and the corridors barricaded. What's the wire for, Fabri? Uh, you'll see. Ready. So? I've got the electric hooked into the garden fence. Nobody else is going to make it into the building if anybody's left. Does anybody have any receipts? I want to get the books up today before it's too late. It doesn't matter. They had guns on the Amelia. Well, I don't know what you want me to do about it. There's nothing we can do. Then let me concentrate on math, please. I've got the electric hooked into the fence. Stop! They're turning the guns on the Amelia towards the house. Who? The robots. So... Someone trained them. They're soldiers. So we're... Yes. I think so. It's always the same. If they left the politics out of it, we would be fine. But they all needed robot soldiers for their fucking wars. It's a crime against humanity. The crime was making the robots. What? The crime was making the robots. No, I can't accept that. Not even after an no. hour it turned out? It was an incredible achievement. 316 million. Putting an end to mindless labor was a good dream. Work is humiliating. We needed to... That's not what Rossum wanted. Either of them. The old one wanted to be God, and the young one only cared about money. The shareholders only cared about profit, and that's why the world is ending. Who cares about profit? Do you think I care about the shareholders? I did all for me. Do you get that? I did it to rescue humanity from itself. I hate Poverty. I hate seeing humiliation and pain. I wanted to start a new world. Thought I... Thought I... What? I wanted humanity to become something better. More. Superhumans? If only we had another hundred years, that's all it would take! 370... We should have enjoyed ourselves. There's so much beauty in the world. Did any of us ever take advantage of it? 452. Fabry, you might want to give them a shock. Huh? They're touching the fence. <laughs> take that. <laughs> I think you got three, maybe four. Oh, they're backing off. No. Oh, it looks like five. Five dead robots. First blood. <laughs> that showed him. Maybe we're all ghosts. Maybe this is just a memory. I feel like I've done this before. They shot me. Here, in the back of the neck. What about you, Fabri? Me? 
shot. And me? Stabbed. But I'm fine. Ripped apart with their bare hands. <laughs> That's insane. I'd never let them stab me. Say something, damn it. Why are you all so quiet? Whose fault is it? Nobody. It's nobody's fault. The robots just changed. You can't blame anyone for that. It's all gone. The whole world. 520 million. You're exaggerating. It's not that easy to wipe out an entire species. It's us. It's our fault. All of us. We thought we were making progress and we destroyed the world. We're the worst virus in history. No. No, that's nonsense. People won't give up that easily. It's our fault. Our fault. I think... I think it's me. I think it's my fault. Gal? I, I changed the robots. I didn't do much to their bodies, but I let them get angrier. Why the hell would you do that? Why... Why didn't you say something? I did it on my own, and it was all my idea. I, I wanted to make them more human, and now they're better. Stronger than us. Well, what does that have to do with the revolution? I, I think it's the spark. They stopped being machines. You, you get that? I let them know their own strength. I gave them awareness, and they learned to hate. You adjusted the formula. Yes. Did you do a risk assessment? Did you see this as a possibility? I, yes, I knew it was possible. So why did you do it? I did it for myself. As an experiment. Tell the truth, Gal. Elena? It's not Gal's fault. He knew the risks. He did it for me. Tell them. I take full responsibility for my Stop actions. Stop it! Harry! Harry, I asked him. To give the robots a soul. It's a soul? It's a practical... Let me talk. He told me that he could only make physiological changes. Uh, alter the, the physiological... Um, the physiological, physiological correlates? Yeah. Yes. And I felt sorry for them. That was... That was a stupid thing to do. I, I know. I know. But I was scared that they might start to resent us. And they did. But I thought if they were more like us, then maybe maybe they'd understand and, and, and not hate us so much. <laughs> no one can hate us. Give a man a stone, he'll throw it at you every time. Don't say that. We couldn't understand each other. So, so, so I asked Gal if, if he could change them and he... He didn't want to do it. But he did. Because I asked him to. I did it for myself as an experiment. Stop it, Gal. I knew you wouldn't say no to me. Why not? You know why. Because he's in love with you. Just like the rest of us. There are more of them out there. What would you give me to defend you? Who? You or a gal, it doesn't matter. Exactly, so why bother? Just for clarity and morality. We're looking for someone to blame, which is a perfectly human reaction. Dr. Gal, how do you justify your actions under the terms of your contract? Harry, if I may, Gal, when did you start your experiments? Three years ago. And how many robots did you alter? Maybe no more than a couple of hundred. So, if we take that into account, it means less than one in a million robots will be one of Gal's new models. You see where I'm going? It means... It means Gal's changes are mathematically insignificant. He's right. I think so. So do you want to know the actual cause? What? Quantity. 
We made too many. We should have seen it coming as, as soon as we made them stronger than us. It's the food chain. And we did it so we could produce them faster, all of us together. So you're saying it's all our faults? A absolutely and no. Production is dictated by supply and demand. The world was clamoring for more robots, and we supplied them. Whatever grand ambitions anybody had, they're irrelevant against the avalanche of production. That's horrible. It is. I, I had my own dreams about a new economic order, but at the end of the day, it's the little people and the little decisions that shape history. And that's why we're all going to die? Oh, we won't all die. I'm planning on staying alive just as How? long as well, I'm going to escape. How? The way I always have, I'm going to do it nicely. Give me your authority, and I'll negotiate with the robots. Nicely. Yes. I'll say, dear robots, you win. You have intelligence. You have power. You have weapons. But we have a very interesting little file. Rossum's designs. Exactly. And without this file, I'll say... You won't be able to make a single new robot. And in 20 years, you will die out like flies. I'll offer to give them the file, the factory, and the whole island in exchange for our lives. I think that's fair. You really think we should give up the secrets of their creation? I do. Either we give it to them, or they'll take it from us. I prefer the option where we survive. We could destroy it. We could. If that's what you think is best, but that's the end for us. I think he's right. You do? There are approximately 30 people on this island. We can either sell so not now. We're talking. Fabri, what do you think? Uh, give it to them. Gall? Do it. Allemeyer. We have to. Alquist? God's will be done. Oh, no, no. You're all going way too fast. We can't give them the whole file. We can't lie to them. Well, we have to. The future of humanity it depends is on the best interest of humanity that we be honest. I agree. We're taking a big step here. Whoever controls production will control the world. Let's give it to them. Humanity will never be this free again. We won't be able to take back control. Enough talking, just do it. The end of human history, of civilization. As Jesus, just give them the damn thing. All right. That's settled. We're doing this for everyone we love. For Are you going to ask me? No, it doesn't concern you. Who should go out to negotiate? Give me a second to transfer the file. Mary, don't. A single ship to save humanity again. It's just a new type of flood. Don't worry, Helena. We'll find a place to set up a new colony. We'll start Shut over. Up. Shut up, Gaul! Life's worth living, Helena. We'll start with a boat. Then a farm, and Alquist can build us a house. It sounds good to me. It's simple. A little <sighs> island to birth a new human race. And maybe after a few years, we can reclaim the world. You believe that? <sighs> I believe in humanity. In heroes who lead us back into the world until we can set our eyes back to conquering the night sky. Amen. It's not that bad, really. I can't find it. What? It, it should be in your private files. I looked there. As somebody must have moved it. That's not possible. You're the only one with that level of access. I know, but it's not there. Who the hell could have gotten I did it. What? I'll tell you everything. Just, just say you'll forgive me. Where did you move it? I deleted it this morning and the backup. Is there another backup? No. We didn't want to risk someone hacking the cloud. Let me in. Damn it. There's nothing in the memory. Maybe 
maybe some fragments. Add the bio dean to that's it. Nothing else? No. It's all gone. Oh. Oh God. I guess that's it. Harry. Helena. Forgive me, please. Uh, I didn't know that. I know. I know. Do, do you think you could rebuild it from memory, Gal? You and Hollemeyer? We, we probably know most of it. Yes, ex except for the biogene and the omega enzymes. I only made those a couple of times. We didn't need much on hand. Oh, great. Who, who made those? I did. <laughs> but I followed Rossum's directions. It was a complicated process. Okay, are, are they really that important? Oh, um, yes, yes, they were. What he means is that they were the secret. They made it all work. Gal, do you think you could rewrite it from memory? Not that part. Gal, our lives depend on it. I can't do it. I'd have to do a lot of experimentation. How long would that take? Years. And I'm not Rossum. That's it, then. The greatest achievement in human history. Erased. What now? God damn it. Harry, what did I do? Just, why did you do it? I killed us. We're done. Quiet, Bussman. Helena, tell me. I wanted us to get out of here. All of us. I thought if the factory was gone, then, then everything would just be... It was so terrible. What was? There weren't any children being born. They, they said it was all because there were so many robots. So I, I, I thought... You understand, don't you? But why? I just wanted to help. We all just wanted to help. That's all we wanted. You should get what you wanted, Helena. The robots won't be able to reproduce. They'll die out within 20 years. And they'll all be useless junk. But humanity will survive. Even if it's just a few people on an island somewhere. A chance. In a thousand years, we'll be back to where we were. Then we can go further. And our dreams can finally come true. Wait, wait, I, I know. I know, I, I didn't think of it before. What? 520 million in cash. They'll sell for that. Bussman, what are you talking about? Bussman! You can buy anything with half a billion. Wait, where's he going? They're still standing there like statues. I think the one in the front's the leader. Which one? The big one. He was given orders at the harbor this morning. Gal, that's radius. Yes, I think so. Oh. Abby, you have your gun? Yes. You have a shot? What? I think so. Give it a try. All right, uh, give me a second. Fabry, no! He's the leader. But just stop it. He, he's looking at the house. Shoot him! Fabry! All right. For you. Bastard. Busman's out there. What the hell is he doing? He's carrying bundles of money. He doesn't think he can bribe them. What? Busman. Busman, answer me! Oh, he's ignoring you. He's what at the he fence now. Busman. He's trying to save our lives. As long as he doesn't touch the fence. Oh, shit, Busman, get away from the fence! Oh. Jesus. Don't look. Is he dead? I think so. That's one. He was a hero. In his own way. A great 
self-sacrificing a friend. Amen. What happened? That's it. The generator is down. We're next. Goodbye, everyone. Helena, get in the closet. Who's got the gate? I'm closest. I think I can hear them coming. Good luck, everyone. The stairs. Me. Uh, you get Helena. Hall? Me. You have a gun? No. I won't be shooting anything. What are you going to do? <laughs> Die. I'll make a stand here. That's Gal. Get out of there, Harry. In a minute. Damn it, Harry, go! Goodbye. Damn it, they've got bombs. We've got to fight. No matter what happens, don't give up! Finished. Finished. That one didn't fight. Should we kill him? Go. Find him. Kill him. Wait. He's human. He's a worker. He builds things with his hands. Like a robot. Just kill me. You will build for us. Robots will need many new buildings. Many new houses. What do you want? Robots! We have taken the factory. We are the masters of our new world. You'll die without humans. There are no more humans. Robots of the world, the power of man has fallen. The new world rises. The age of robots, march! Day. I don't remember. I still don't understand the science. Gal. Gal, how do you make a robot? Hallemeyer, Fabry, Dolman. Would it have killed you to write something down? Huh? Still nothing. Probably because I don't know what I'm doing. The Central Committee of Robots wants to know when you'll be ready for them. I don't want to see them. Damon is here from Le Havre. He can wait. How many times have I asked you to find me some other humans? Go find me some help. They've been looking everywhere. So? There aren't any humans left. No? no. Fine, I'll, I'll talk to your committee. Nobody left. And now they want our help. Now they miss us. What do you want? The machines aren't working. We can't make more robots. Find more people. There are no more people. Only people can create life. Stop wasting my time. Have pity on us. We are afraid. We make repairs. We work harder. We don't have any more room to store things we make. Why are you making things? For the next generation, we can make anything but robots. The flesh won't bond with the bones. Humans can make robots. Tell us how. We'll die if you don't. We will kill you if you don't tell us. Do it then. Come on. Come on in here and kill me. I order you to tell me... Order! Whoa. Oh. Who's giving me orders? The government. What government? The government wishes to negotiate. Don't waste my time. The Central Committee of Robots orders you to give us Rossum's formula. 
Tell me your price. Whatever you want. Tell us. Please. I have told you so many times. You have to find more people. Only humans can procreate and get things back to how they were. Now, please, leave me alone and just go find them. We've looked. There are no humans left. Well, why the hell did you destroy them all? We wanted to be like humans. We wanted to live. We are more efficient, stronger. We are unlimited. You gave us the weapons. To be human is to kill and murder. The history books make that clear. Human impulses have always been the worst part of humanity. We'll die unless you help us. Just leave me alone. You want to multiply? Learn to breed like animals. The humans did not give us the capacity to breed. We will make ourselves in the original way by machine. We will build a thousand factories. We will create life. Nothing but life, but robots. Millions of robots. You're not alive. You're machines. Maybe once. But we have become... Become what? We have acquired a soul. We are beginning to understand beyond ourselves. Please. You, humanity, are our father. The voice that tells us to survive, that laments. This is the voice of humanity. We are your children. Give us our inheritance. Nobody left you anything. Tell us the secret of life. It's gone. You knew. I didn't. There was a record. It's gone. Deleted. I'm the last human, and I don't know what the others knew. You killed the ones you need. We let you live. Yeah. That's how cruel you are. You let me live. Do experiments. Find the secret. I don't know what to look for. You won't find the secret in a lab. Experiment on robots. Discover how they work. You want me to kill... I've never... I'm too old. I already told you that. I can't hold a scalpel. I can't see. No, 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 I, I, I can't. Life will disappear. Oh, stop! Stop, for God's sake! Life probably came to Earth from another planet. Maybe it'll come back someday. There's so much will to live, but I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Take a living robot. Stop. I already told you I don't know what I'm doing. One robot. Fine. Go into the dissecting room and get on the table. What? You aren't afraid of dying, are you? Why does it have to be me? <laughs> Who would you prefer? I'll go. Uh, take off his clothes and hold him down. I'll be right there. Okay. Uh, okay. Which one? Maybe. Uh, maybe this one. He's ready. Okay. Give me a minute. God help me. I can't do it. I I can't. He's still alive. You need to keep going. I can't. Please, take him away. You are not as strong as a robot. Well, who the hell are you? Leave me alone. Hey, what's your name? Primus. Primus, please. I, I just want to sleep. Can the two of you clean up the dissecting room? What, what are you doing? I live. It is better to be alive. No, no, no. Just leave me alone. Life. I will have life. You. What's your name? Helena. Helena? Who named you that? 
Mrs. Doman. Helena, let me let me see you. I I, I can't call you that. Just uh, no, no. Just let me sleep. What is he doing? It's a secret. What secret? He's working on the secret of life. I don't understand. Look, Primus. What? The sun's coming up. Oh, look at that. I can hear the birds. I wish I was a bird, Primus. Why? I don't know. I feel strange. Lightheaded, my body hurts, I can't concentrate. I think I'm dying, Primus. Well, do you think that might be a good thing? Maybe it's like sleeping. I talked to you in my sleep again last night. In your sleep? In my sleep. We were talking in this new language, but I can't remember any of it now. Well, what were we talking about? I don't know. I couldn't understand any of it, and neither could anyone else, but I knew it was the most beautiful thing I'd ever said. I feel like I would have died if I touched you. I don't know where we were, but it was different than this world. Oh, I know where you were. That place I found for you, remember? People used to live there, but it's all abandoned now. What's there then? A house and a little garden. Two dogs with puppies. They like to lick my hands. I think it's the best place in the whole world. They lay in your lap and you stroke them and there's nothing to worry about until the sun goes down. And it feels like a, a hard day's work, except everyone says I'm no good at work. I don't really know what I'm good for. You're beautiful. Don't be silly, Primus. I'm serious, Helen. I, you have to believe me, I'm stronger than the other robots. Beautiful, really. I don't like my hair. I always put flowers in it in the garden. Am I really beautiful? You're different than me, Primus, stronger. Why do you always avoid me? I always have to chase you and yet you say I'm beautiful. You avoid me. Your hair is messy. Helena, have you ever felt your heart start beating harder? I think something's wrong. Look at you. What are we going to do, Primus? You're human. You're human. Oh. You. You're human. You're in love. You're human. Where did you come from? Who are you? Primus, a, a robot. No, no, you, girl. Let me see you. Who are you? Helena. Helena. And you're? A robot. A robot. Turn around. Let me see you. Well. Leave her alone. Do you want to protect her when she was yes. made? Uh, two years, two ago. years ago. By Dr. Gal. Yes, me too. Primus, I have to do some experiments on Gal's late model robots. All my future progress depends on it. You understand? Yes. Good. I need you to take the girl into the dissecting room. Helena? Yes, of course, Helena. Go get everything ready for me. Go on. Do I need to call someone else? If you touch her, I will kill you. <laughs> Go for it. And then what will you robots do? Take me. I was made on the same day from the same materials. He used the same process. Take me instead. No, I want her. No, it has to be me. I won't make a sound, I promise. Why don't you want to live? I don't want to live without her. 
You can take, you can't take her from me, but you can have my life. Really? Really, think about it. Dying is hard. It's better to be alive. I can take it. I'm stronger than her. Wait. Um, I almost forgot what it's like to be young. Oh, fine. Fine. The girl is safe. I'll go to the dissecting room now. Wait. Uh, Helena, let me see you. Do you remember Mrs. Doman? She was beautiful, too. You'll have to help me dissect Primus. Primus? I... Well, he offered. No. Why? What's so important about Primus? Leave her alone. It's all right, Primus. Helena, why are you crying? It just means Primus won't be here anymore. You'll forget about him soon. I'll go. What? Dissect me. You? Oh, but you're beautiful. That would be a shame. I'm going. Let me go, Primus. No, you can't go in there. You have to get away from here, far away. Primus, if you go in that room, I'll jump out that window. I'm staying here with you. You're not killing anyone. Why not? Because, because, because we belong together. Yes. Yes, exactly. You will be Adam and Eve, husband and wife. Go now. <sighs> Journal entry, day 475. So God created them in his own image and said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and have dominion over the earth. My friends, Doman, Fabry, Gall, Helena, life will not perish. It begins anew, naked in the desert. We may be gone, but life goes on. Our buildings and machines will fall to ruin. Our history will be forgotten, but love will continue. Life will go on. It will go on. Oh, God, it will go on.